Coming to you from RGIS Studios, I am Anisia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. The Ministry of Health and Wellness to date has conducted some 4,274 PCR tests. Medical Officer in the Ministry of Health and Wellness, Dr. Glenn Sford Joseph, indicated that St. Lucia's testing capacity has increased drastically. The ministry has also changed the testing strategy from not only testing symptomatic individuals, but also testing individuals who are at risk. The Medical Officer of Health indicated that with the commencement of the fifth phase of the country's reopening and the reintroduction of flights into St. Lucia, the risk associated with COVID-19 and its spread has increased. Consequently, the ministry continues to monitor the situation and institute measures accordingly to ensure the protection of all St. Lucians. A proposal has been placed before Cabinet requesting that as of September 1, 2020, the occupant bears the cost of quarantine. The associated cost is still being discussed and will be communicated at a later date. During Tuesday night's update to the nation, Royal St. Lucia Police Forces Acting Commissioner of Police, Milton Daisy, reported on the successes in the enforcement of the emergency powers order during the COVID-19 response period. To date, the Southern Division of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force has responded to seven reports where four individuals were arrested for illegally gaining entry into St. Lucia. In the Northern Division, five individuals were dealt with at the Reachford Police Station and one was dealt with by the West Coast Police. Border security is crucial to the prevention of contagion during the COVID-19 pandemic. Daisy has assured that all resources at the disposal of the RSLPF have been deployed to intercept illegal crossings from neighboring islands. Police have also confirmed home quarantine revocations becoming aware of breaches due to the anonymous tip-offs from members of the general public. The RSLPF continues to advise the public against harboring persons coming through the borders. The public is also encouraged to alert the nearest police station or the Ministry of Health and Wellness with information in relation to anyone who has breached the protocols. Ensuring equitable access to vaccines, treatments and tests to all in the Caribbean and Latin America through international and regional collaboration is the only solution to ending the COVID-19 pandemic. So says UK and Mexico foreign secretaries who expressed this view during a joint virtual seminar held under the theme Accelerating Access to COVID-19 Vaccines in Latin America and the Caribbean. The event was co-hosted by the UK and Mexico on the 5th of August and highlighted the importance of the Access to COVID-19 Tools Accelerator to ensure global access to vaccines, treatments and tests to face COVID-19. The UK is collaborating with the international community to support the rapid development and manufacturing of safe and effective vaccines as well as treatments and tests to ensure widespread global access. The UK has already committed some £313 million of UK aid to support research and development for vaccines, treatments and tests to ensure new tools are available to all, including the world's poorest countries. This has been the Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.